Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, December 30th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I align my actions with responsibility. And today, whew, okay, so today and into tomorrow, this astro feels potent to finish up 2020. I mean, we're not, we haven't even hit the peak of the full moon and yet we're already, here's the next level of lessons. So I mentioned this earlier in the week ahead astro. We have Venus square Neptune. And then part of this Venus square Neptune energy is actually Venus hanging out on south node energy. And I actually think that's kind of the bigger of the two, but the, the Neptune energy can just amplify it. You know, Venus energy is interesting because Venus represents like a wide gamut of things as as yin energy does, right? So Venus represents um, our worthiness, our worth, our self-esteem. It can represent pleasure and beauty and beautiful things in this world. It can represent love and relationships, um, among other things. And so we have this sitting on the south node. The south node energy is... <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> South node energy is like, learn from this, but stop feeding your energy into it. South node energy is the hole we fall in over and over and over and over and over. It can really represent multiple patternings, whether past life, this life, etc. So with Venus on top of the South node and then Neptune squaring in, I really do think this comes down to like patterns we've built into relationship, whether it's relationship with ourself, relationship with divine, relationship with others, so many levels of that. Um, relationship, pleasure principles, pleasure energy. Uh, Venus in Sagittarius loves to party. Venus in Sagittarius is like bring on the food, bring on the wine, bring it all. If it's pleasurable, bring it. And so I think, especially with Neptune feeding in, that's where I'm kind of going with this and feeding into it. Although there may be like karmic relationship things coming up with this square with Neptune, Neptune can represent like escapism. And a lot of times that's where we want to escape into is pleasure, these things that feel good. And why shouldn't we, right? Like logically, like shouldn't we be able to do that? And yet Venus in the sign of Sagittarius, which is the sign of too much for sure, too much, um, we can go overboard with that pleasure. We can go overboard with the escapism. We can go overboard with these patternings. And so this is a call to be aware where these patterns, where this pleasure, where this relationship energy, where this stuff around money or worth or spending even is no longer serving us, where it is feeding into the too muchness and where we need to change that pattern um, and call in a new energy. So, whew, card wise, <laughs> I mean, I have more, I have more to show you, but card wise, like it's here, <laughs> it is up. Top of the cards, we have the Thunderbolt. And I think this is what happens when we have to face like, oh my God, I'm stuck in this pattern or I'm in that hole. I'm in the hole again. I have walked down the same street, <laughs> knowingly walked down the same street, fallen into the same hole, and here I am in the hole again. And so here's where we face that hole energy. Like, okay, I did it. And it can feel a little contentious, whether it feels contentious with the universe, like, or with yourself, or even if this is relationship energy, it can feel like that. And then, then we get to align with divine responsibility beyond illusion it's your choice this is free will is this a pattern that you want to keep feeding into or is this a pattern that you want to shift the choice is yours however i'm getting that we're completing the pattern and starting a new process the rebirth card in our innocence so this is really this is profound you know these cards but we just need to be aware of where we are being called to shift patternings. If you know where Sagittarius and Pisces is in your chart, you can look to that to help support you. But just tune in. Where, where am I feeding into the too much? Where am I maybe giving into escapism or illusions a little bit more or really not like rounding in, paying attention to my physical body and its true needs versus pleasure needs or escapism needs or whatever or even relational needs. So really paying attention to that through today, Wednesday and Thursday, this energy is going to be amplified. And it feels, it feels important to leave this energy behind 
in 2020. Now, it's not to say that there's not a, ch a chance because it's one of the things I've seen with astro and I used to work for an astrologer like, this is your only chance to do this. No, it's not. Astro energies cycle. <laughs> we we always have chances. We always have opportunities and how it's working in your chart is maybe different than somebody else's. So trust that. However, I do feel like you can enter 2021 in a rebirth state, having noticed this pattern and even just setting the intention to release it and putting in conscious, responsible action. So potent energy. I'm going to put one cards back, but I'm not done with the astro. So why am I doing that? Besides that, we have the moon continuing on in cancer energy. So if you didn't get out the emotions with this full moon energy rising, there is still time. Let it out. Let me just say that I pulled cards from my patron group, which I just did before this, and I pulled this for them too. So we're all having to face our ego. We're all having to face some emotions. We're all having to face some place where we may have to break down a little bit. And that's okay. Um, so moon, moon continuing onward, connecting to both Mercury and Neptune through the day. Neptune, again, that connection with the Neptune, intuition, listening, tuning in, meditating, what is this pattern that I'm being called to release? Specifically, if you have anything at 18 or 19 degrees, um, that also may be feeding into this. So if you are somebody who likes to look at your chart, check out 18, 19 degrees. What planets are feeding into this? Because that lesson may be even more profound for you. And again, that Neptune connection with the moon and the moon also feeding into this, into this energy, into Venus, there may be some feelings to be released about this. So um, the Mercury energy, moon opposite Mercury. Mercury and Capricorn may want us to be a little bit more practical, like what do we have to get done as we're finishing up the year? And yet the full moon in Cancer is like, yeah, this is what we got to get done. <laughs> this is what we got to get done. <laughs> this is what we got to get done. So it may be one of those days where we're pulled back and forth between our responsibilities to the world and yet what's coming up and feeling through. I have to say, this moon feels so intense. Like I have not slept nearly enough the last couple nights and there may be some strong full moon over. So keep that in mind through this energy too, especially if you're feeling like you just need to rest. Maybe that's the pattern breaker, allowing yourself to rest rather than thinking that you need to do. So I'm going to leave that there for now. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. If you want a 2021 year ahead reading, please let me know. I am getting those uh, done and out um, to people. Uh, and you can always book another reading as well. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.